The vaccine is a, a, a combination of three vaccines. The M for the measles vaccine, the second M for the mumps vaccine, and the R for the rubella vaccine. These are all live attenuated or weakened viruses, all that mimic the diseases we're trying to prevent. By injecting them uh, into the muscle or actually into the subcutaneous tissue, uh, it starts up a tiny little infection of a very weakened virus that the body sees and then develops immunity to measles, to mumps, There's and to rubella. Open. The measles and rubella parts of these vaccines basically with one or two doses gives you immunity for life. Um, there are some people who fail to respond and they need the protection of others, so-called herd immunity. Mumps is a little trickier. Uh, that immunity actually is not as strong as the immunity one gets from the measles or rubella portion of the MMR vaccine. Um, it may only work uh, 78 to 80 percent uh, or so after a dose of the mumps vaccine, and it does appear to wane. Measles is perhaps our most contagious virus dis viral disease. I don't believe uh, uh, anyone has ever identified a virus more contagious. In fact, 90% uh, of people who are not immune to measles when in the room with someone who has measles in its active form will get it. Uh, it's a, a significant illness in that it causes a fever and rash that can lay you very low. It can cause complications, pneumonias, ear infections, encephalitis. It can leave you with a chronic inflammation of your brain called subsclerosing panencephalitis, uh, and it can kill. Mumps, unlike measles, is not a rashy illness so much as it's a feverish illness associated with the swelling of the salivary glands, the parotid glands around the cheeks, and can in fact uh, inflame other glands for males, uh, the testes, for uh, females, the ovaries. Um, it can cause in a small number of people get mumps and inflammation of the pancreas. It too can inflame the brain and cause a form of meningitis. Mumps is contagious through saliva and so so um, we'll hear about people on hockey teams where they're spitting and sharing water bottles spread mumps across the hockey team or across the locker room. Similarly, on college campuses where people are sharing uh, cigarettes and drinking glasses and water bottles, we'll also see uh, mumps spread quickly. Rubella is a very mild form of uh, fever and rash, so mild that most people who get German measles don't know that they had it. And that's the other name for rubella, German measles. Just a very mild condition, but it's horrible to a non-immune pregnant woman and her child. Um, it used to cause outbreaks in the United States every six to nine years. Uh, and in the outbreaks in 1964, 1969, we had uh, perhaps over uh, 20,000 uh, pregnancies uh, were uh, complicated by children having significant birth defects due to German measles. Another 12,000 resulted in fetal loss uh, or therapeutic abortions uh, from the, uh, the, the deformations and, and, um, and changes done uh, in pregnancy. So it's a horrific illness for the pregnant woman and her offspring. People should remember is the R in the MMR vaccine is an anti-autism vaccine. We now know, looking back at the congenital rubella syndrome caused when a pregnant woman who's not immune to rubella gets rubella while pregnant and her child develops uh, birth defects or congenital anomalies as a result of that rubella infection. 15%, one out of seven of those babies also developed autism. By vaccinating against rubella with the MMR vaccine, we're actually preventing rubella and preventing congenital rubella and preventing autism. Everybody needs protection against measles, mumps, and rubella. Uh, everyone needs to avoid getting measles and mumps, both so they don't get sick with it and so they don't spread it. All of us, even uh, those of us who are male or not planning to get pregnant, 
need protection against rubella or German measles so we don't infect a pregnant person who either didn't get the vaccine or didn't respond to the vaccine. None of these vaccines work 100% of the time and so it's up to all of us to get vaccinated so that we really create barriers between the infected person and the person who will be devastated by this illness.